Okay, I have been inspired to do some of my favorite nail polishes. A lot of people have been doing them recently and it made me start looking in my collection and I've been asked a lot to do this and also to show you how I store my nail polishes. It's very fancy. So why don't I get with the very fancy, expensive, and complicated way that I store my nail polishes. There we go. Yeah. Um, two Sterilite containers. Um, I have them on the floor here because I'm doing my video. Uh, and they usually have the lid on and then I stack them in my bathroom cabinet. So yes, that's my comp. And when I'm really good, I organize them by brand, but that doesn't last long, as you can see. So anyway, I pulled some of my favorites and as I look at them, it seems like I, if you would guess my character or my emotional state based on my nail polish shades, you'd think I was the most depressed person in the world. I like the drab, the dark, and the um, goth almost, but um, it's fall, so I guess that's kind of where I am. I'm showing you more of my fall colors. If it were summertime, I, these would not be on my favorites for right now. But um, first and foremost, a new favorite is the Revlon Perplex. This is how it looks. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. This is the dupe for Chanel's Paradoxal. It is right here in the bottle. Is this it? Yes. It's number 826. I just picked it up so it even has the new sticker on it. Um, I found it at Ulta. It was the only place I could find it. Love, 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 love it. It is my new favorite. It's kind of a muddy purple and there is some shimmer to it. Purple gray. And I love it. And that's that's that. And if you can get your little hands on this, grab it. Love it. If you remember years and years and years ago, Revlon did a dupe of Chanel's vamp called Vixen, which I have somewhere in here, and that became an instant classic as well. Revlon really does some great dupes of some higher end stuff. Sticking with the purple brands, my all time favorite, another all time favorite purpley beige color is the Rimmel Lasting Pro in Steel Gray. I've talked about this before also. Um, it's more of a taupe color than purple, but there are some purple undertones. And um, what I really like when it says up to 10 days, I don't know if that's true because I get bored with the color long before 10 days happens, but this Revlon nail polish is at least the one I have. I only have one. It really holds up very well. Could not be more pleased. So um, another favorite. I'm going to try to go fast through this. This one looks almost identical, but not on camera, which is good. This is more brown. This has more purple undertones. This is an OPI, and this one is over the taupe. I don't know if that's picking up, but it looks like that. It's definitely taupey, greasy color. Um, I bought this last fall, and I do, I like it a lot. I like it. I like You Don't Know Jacques maybe a little better, but I don't actually own that one. So this will do. I don't have any allegiance to any particular brand, but I do like OPI least of all the brands I've tried. Just saying. Um, where I'm from originally in Chicago, when I first started getting my nails done, everybody used Essie. And I don't know if that's still the case, but up north, Essie was big. No one had ever heard of OPI. Now it seems like OPI has taken over the world. Um, continuing with my purple phase, right now a new favorite on my toes is this Wet and Wild night prowl and I like it because it has glitter in it but it's not really chunky and I'm not showing you my toes mostly because they're in my boots right now and then in socks and but um, unlike some really heavy glittery uh, polishes this one doesn't you can't really see the glitter in it until you get real close to your toes or fingernails it really just looks like a deep dark purplish black with some shimmer to it so it's subtle and I like it um, cause that's me. I'm, I'm subtle. Uh, okay. Purple colors to continue. I worn this in quite a few videos. It was a gift from a friend and I finally found the name. Remember it was missing the label. It's Orly and the name is Moon Glow. And it's a really nice, it comes out true to this. It's a little bit sheer, but not completely sheer. Just layer it up. I don't like sheer nail polishes. Let me just put it out there. Don't like them. But I love this. It's, if you have a more conservative workplace, I think you could probably get away with Orly's Moon Glow. Um, back to my goth shades. I, when I'm going for more of a black, I don't want black nails, but something pretty close. I really like this L'Oreal. Um, I like their new bottle packaging. This isn't that new, but it's 
the professional line I think it's called and this one is a stroke of midnight and it's not black it may appear black but if you can see there's some uh, brownie red undertones to it on your nails it definitely looks black but not like sucking all the color out of the out of the light out of the room black um, it's really a deep deep burgundy but okay um, favorite blue maybe of all time favorite nail polish brand is um, I just got this as you all know uh, Monday from Dean Nadine in Germany and it's the P2 brand and this one is in the color dangerous I took it off yesterday because I really wanted to try this perplex but I shouldn't have there was not one chip I put it on Tuesday Friday night was still perfect perfect um, I don't know if all P2 colors are like this but in my experience this one is amazing amazing and it's um it comes out a little darker than in the bottle it's more of almost like uh, almost navy it's a deeper color so love it love it love it um one more kind of gothy darker color that I really like is um my sinful color sinful colors makes a lot of great nail polishes and if you're looking for trendy and you don't want to invest a lot of money this is definitely the way to go I know you can get them at Walgreens I've seen them now at Target as well. This one is called Secret Admirer, and it's a black with silver glitter in it. And it's uh, it's great on the toes. I would probably, yeah, I'd wear it on my fingers because it's not an in-your-face glitter. Um, it comes off as more of a black with some silver shimmer to it. Not so much glitter chunks. Then my favorite brownie color uh, is this Essence. It's, I got the tiny little bottle and this is from, I wore this a lot in the summer too, late summer, and it's called Just In Case and it's a coppery gold color and it really goes on well and I like Essence polishes a lot. In fact, I really need to go back and get more of these. This one was only 99 cents. I mean it's little, but how much do you need? So there's that. And then my pinks. Once in a while I actually feel like putting on a cheerful color, not often, but um, I don't wear red very often. I, I did for about a week in my videos and when I did wear it, it's this Jelly Apple by Essie and there it is. It's a bluish red and um, I do like it but I find maybe because I wear such dark colors all the time it just is jarringly red. So I don't wear it often but when I want more of a reddish color without going full bang in your face red, I love this Essie it's very cranberry and it's um well it's cranberry so there you go good naming on to the pinks um if i'm going for a sheer like if i absolutely have to i rarely do but once in a while i get the mood for it i i like um sweetheart by opi it's this it's a little more opaque than um like bubble bath and some of those other ones um I just, I don't like sheer. I don't know what to tell you. I've heard some other recommendations, some China Glaze ones um, that I'm going to have to look into, but I never really wear them, so I don't know. If anyone knows, I like this baby pink color, but I don't want it sheer. So if anybody knows of an opaque one that's baby pink, it can be a little darker than this, a little more pink and less white. I'd love to hear about it. And then for my bright um, like when I'm in a happy, sparkly mood, um, normally during uh, late spring, I will put on this is DC Cherry Blossom by OPI. This is an oldie, but a goodie. And it's just a bright pink. It's uh, like Barbie pink, I would say. And it's matte. Not matte. Sad. It doesn't have shimmer to it. I don't, I know you can't tell because oh, so many do, but my preference is a non-shimmer or a very subtle shimmer. I don't like metallic fingers as a general rule. And then, but when I do like metallic, on my toes especially, um, again, this is a real old one. It's called, it's by Revlon, and it has a lot of shimmer in it. It's like a, a gold shimmer, and it's called Strawberry Electric. Oh, my hand's shaking. Time for lunch. Low blood sugar. Anyway, it's a really cool fuchsia, bright pink very happy color. I don't have a base coat that I live by yet. I kind of have been bouncing around. I've been using the OPI Nail Envy. Seems to be working fine. 
I'm sure there's a million other ones that will do the job, so I'm not going like, to tell you to go run out and get it. Um, there is a top coat that I adore, and I'm going to show you my bottle with an explanation. Okay, I use Zesh Vite, or however you pronounce this stuff, this dry fast top coat. It's not normally this cloudy, milky color. It was getting, there is one problem with Sesh Vite. It gets thick quickly. So I'm about halfway through the bottle and it's getting thick. So I didn't have any nail polish thinner and I dunked in my pink nail polish remover just a little bit and it's this nasty milky consistency, but I used it on my nails and it comes out clear still. So it seems to be working just fine. And it was like this when I put on the P2, and like I said, my P2 polish lasted forever, so I don't think it has made a difference in the efficacy of the top coat experience, but it doesn't look very good. So maybe don't thin your nail polish with nail polish remover. So anyway, that is my nail polish collection. This is not the most exciting of videos, I know. I do have some more interesting ones planned, but they're going to take a little more prep time. I want to do a video on how to pack because I just came back from a trip and I'm planning another one and uh, just some suggestions on packing toiletries, makeup, clothes, how to figure out what to take, that kind of thing. And um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I can see Bosley pacing behind me. Anyway, so those are my favorite nail polishes. I love to hear some of your suggestions if you think that you know of a polish that I absolutely must have and the phone is ringing so I'm going to take this time to say goodbye see who's on the phone and I'll see you in a few days bye bye do you hear him barking howling wait do it again Buzz.